Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to learn how to manage global data using React Navigation with something called Screen Props. There are other ways of managing the global state of your data, such as using Redux or the React Context API, and I have videos for those if you're interested. Using React Navigation Screen Props is a very simple way of managing your global data. It's not recommended for larger projects or even medium-sized projects, but if you have a small project that's very simple, screen props can be a very convenient way to manage your data. To demonstrate how to use screen props, I've set up a test application, and before we begin, I want to give a quick outline of the application. The entry point is app.js, which simply returns this main tab navigator component, which I've defined in this file here. This is using the create stack navigator and create bottom tab navigator from React Navigation to create a tab navigator with two tabs. And the second tab, the profile tab, is a stack navigator that has two screens on it. So as you can see here, I have a home tab and a profile tab. And when I click view details in my profile tab, I go to a page called person details. Passing data across screens in a stack navigator is very easy and it's probably something you've encountered before. The way that we navigate to a new screen is we call this.props.navigation.navigate and supply the name of the screen we'd like to navigate to. But this function also takes a second argument which has data that you'd like to pass to the screen in which you're navigating. So we will add an object here with a property called name and a value of Paul. And in the screen that we're navigating to we can access that by calling this.props.navigation.getParam and supplying the name of the property we'd like to get. Now when I navigate to the person details screen, we can see that the name Paul appears. Passing data across tabs in React Navigation is a little bit more difficult, and this is where we can utilize the screen props available in React Navigation. I'm going to navigate to my app.js, which is where I'm returning the main tab navigator. And if you recall, the main tab navigator is simply a tab navigator created by using create bottom tab navigator from React Navigation. Inside of this, I can add a property called screen props, which is an object containing any data or functions you'd like to make available to all of the screens within this navigator. Let's first create some data. So in my constructor, I'm going to add a state by calling this.state. And we'll add some properties here. We'll create a person with a name of Paul, an age of 25, and a favorite color of green. Then in our screen props, we can add these properties. So we can say name is equal to this.state.name, age, this.state.age, and favorite color is this.state.favorite color. Now this data is available in any of our screens, and to demonstrate that, I'll add a message to the user on our home screen. So I'll create a text element here, and we'll say hello, and the name of the person, which we can get by calling this.props.screenprops.name. And now we can see on the home screen, it says, hello, Paul. We can also access this data on any other screen, such as the profile screen. So on this screen, let's add the name and the favorite color. So we'll say this.props.screenprops.name and this.props.screenprops.favorite color. Now we see on the profile screen, we have the name and the favorite color. A slightly more convenient way of passing the entire state rather than listing out each individual property is to use the spread operator, which we can use by calling dot 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 this dot state. And what this will do is expand the entire state object into the screen props. So if I save and refresh, you'll see that everything is still working the way it did before. As I mentioned, we can also pass functions into the screen props. So let's create a new function called set name, which will take a name and we'll update the name in the state. So we'll call this dot set state and we'll set name equal to name. The functions must also be listed out individually in the screen props. So we'll say set name is equal to this dot set name. And then in the home screen, let's add a button called set name. And when that button is pressed, it will change the name to John. So we will call 
this dot props dot screen props dot set name and pass in John for the name. Now we can see on the home screen it says hello Paul, but as soon as we click set name, it will change to hello John. That should be all the information you need to start working with screen props. This is a quick and convenient way of managing a global data state in your React Navigation app. Like I said, this is only recommended for smaller sized applications and for larger ones, I would recommend using Redux. Thanks for watching the video.